Hi everybody, Bruce from Ripe Plants and Tara's behind the camera. Today I want to show you how our garden is doing. So come with me into it and I'll show you. On the trellis here, we have yellow, red and yellow honeysuckle plants. These will grow up over. They attract lots of pollinators and of course hummingbirds. I can't wait to see them in a couple weeks. On either side of them, we have some new blueberry plants. I don't expect a lot out of these this year. I really just want them to grow roots and grow foliage and, and be healthy. Next year we'll get the blueberries. Next is our tomato row. We have 13 different heirloom tomatoes. I like heirloom because they're fairly easy. They don't get a lot of diseases and fewer insect problems. Plus the tomatoes are just delicious. We'll have those in a couple weeks as well. In this bed, I have two different kinds of zucchini, yellow and green. I've never grown yellow zucchini before, so I'm really excited about it. And then we also have some spaghetti squash and butternut squash climbing up this trellis, which we made from stripped down cedar planks. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Going around the trellis, uh, we have some marigold plants. They help repel insects that may bother these squashes later on. So it's always good to plant a few flowers with your vegetables. In this garden bed, we have our Brussels sprouts, lots of them. These will just keep growing. We'll harvest those in the fall. Next, we have our yellow beets. These are delicious beets. They didn't germinate all that well. I've tried to inseed some. We'll see what happens with it, but looking forward to those as well. And of course, then we have our kale, which we're already picking leaves off of. Over here in this garden, we have red beets. They're doing incredibly well. So right now we're using some of those greens and sauteed vegetables uh, mixes and salad mixes. And next to them we have broccoli. Those leaves are also good in those kinds of mixes. Below the broccoli, you probably can't see it, we have some radishes growing. They're growing slower than normal because they're in so much shade, but that's okay. We'll harvest them when they're ready. Um, this is some spinach that we planted really early in the season. It's obviously no good anymore. We'll take those out in a day or so and, and try something new. Green beans galore. They're starting to flower. We'll have some green beans in a couple weeks. So looking forward to those. Next is tatsoi. This is one of my favorites and it's really not well known. This is Korean spinach and it tastes a little bit like mustardy plants. Really good in sauteed vegetables as well or in salads. Then we have a couple of herbs, um, some basils. I also have an eggplant in here, um, which I have to grow because my wife likes eggplant. I don't particularly care for it, but you do what you have to do. Um, in this box, we have the cauliflowers. You can see I've tied them shut so that they won't uh, turn bad on me. In between them, I also have some carrots growing. And then we have arugula. This is starting to flower, which is not a good thing. It makes it a little more bitter, but we'll keep harvesting. I don't mind that too much. And then a repeat of the two zucchinis, yellow and green. And here you can see yellow squash forming really nicely down in there. So another week and that, that guy will be ready. This is our pepper bed. I have 10 different peppers in here. We have some shishito peppers that are all ready. Uh, we have cucumbers climbing the trellis, trying to keep them off the ground since they're so aggressive. We'll see how that goes. And then around this trellis, I've planted calendula, which is a edible flower, but it also helps keep certain insects away. On this bamboo trellis that I built, it came out okay. We have some peas that are climbing up. Uh, we also had a rabbit earlier in the season, so I think we got some of our peas, which is unfortunate, but we're happy to share. Um, back here in this garden, our potato peas are doing really well. I need to add more mulch to this. I'll bring it up to here this time. That'll keep the potatoes uh, producing and then we get to the fall just lift everything up and we'll harvest the potatoes. Um, this is an asparagus bed we just transplanted these this year so nothing's going to happen with them we're just going to let them sit next year hopefully we'll do a little bit better. And then all the way over here we have some old spring onions they're still pretty good uh, to cook with they're not as good to taste and salads and things are a little bit uh, tough and then four different kinds of oregano and some thyme, and then our red onion plants, which are doing moderately well. And if you saw a video earlier in the season, you can see our bee house is right up here. We're waiting for them to hatch still. We're very excited to have them come out and that'll give us some great pollinators. So this is the Right Plants Garden, the Right Plants. I'm Bruce, Tara's behind the camera. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a great afternoon.